Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk today about the threats of Julius Malema. He has made more threats. When the Black Monday protest had happened, protesting the farm murders, he had said that police missed an opportunity to test the skin, um, to test the white man's skin with rubber bullets. Basically, he was encouraged encouraging the police to shoot at the protesters with rubber bullets just because the majority of the protesters were white. Not all of the protesters were white, as you've seen from pictures. They were protesting farm murders and protesting an injustice, and all races and colors were out there protesting on Black Monday. All right, and this is just one of the more idiotic, satanic threats of Julius Malema. And he says that the ANC is scared of white people, which... They are not, because President Jacob Zuma, who belongs to the ANC, was singing Kill the Boar, Kill the Farmer, which he should have not been singing. But they are not scared of white people. So he's saying the EFF is not going to be scared of white people, that they can't let white people do as they please in this country. Okay, what more are you talking about? Okay, there's black economic empowerment, which require most companies to hire people. The people they hire have to be 80% black. Okay, there's a black president in South Africa. The majority of the ANC is black. This is just a threat saying he's going to eliminate white people or try to eliminate white people. And this is, Julius Malema needs to be in prison because he's saying we are not calling, calling for the slaughtering of white people. And he said not yet anyway. That means he's calling for the slaughtering of white people. And there have been plenty of signs at his rallies that have said kill whites. And those threats are not protected under any kind of freedom of speech. So, these are way more racist and way more threatening than a handful of protesters waving the old apartheid flag at the Black Monday protest. And only a few of the protesters did that. And they shouldn't have done that. Like I said, I think that flag's a symbol of oppression. I didn't like that they did that. But it's, it's their constitutional right to fly that flag. Same with the apartheid national anthem. Okay? It is not un, a, someone's constitutional right to threaten somebody, threaten to shoot somebody with a rubber bullet based on someone's skin color. That is not protected under freedom of speech. You know, if Penny Sparrow can get fined for calling black South Africans monkeys, and I can see why she got fined, but this is way worse. It's not way worse because I'm white. It's way worse because it's a threat. It's a threat to somebody based on their skin color. Penny Sparrow did no such thing. Now, what she did was racist, stupid, and idiotic, and I don't condone it, and I actually believe it was right for her to get fined. But this goes beyond that, threatening somebody. So, you know what, Julius Malema? You're satanic. You're like the devil. And quite frankly and bluntly, you suck. Anyways, everybody was doing well. I said, care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.